This is the greatest truck ever built. I promise you that. I do. I do. I do. As you can tell, we're doing a, another video in the same uh, same night. <laughs> so, uh, as you said before, I did the review on the um, used video, yeah, used truck review after run review of the Element Ecto. Dactoma is what I'm calling it at the moment. This video is a review, so it's going to be kind of a couple review videos this week, I guess. This is the better review, to be honest. I love the Element. It's a very cool truck sitting up there. And I love my v my VS410 Origin. Love that truck. It's sitting behind me. It's got 1.9s on it, too. We'll do a video on that later, because I'm going to have to do some work on it. I love my 10.3. It's a great truck, but none of them are the VS410 Phoenix F10 portal. This truck is just awesome. The point where this truck is going to be delivering my wedding rings. Yeah, that's right. Wedding rings will be put in this box. Possibly this box. Or a cooler, I'm not sure. This box will sit in the back of this truck. And it's going to deliver my rings. On my wedding. So, it's going to be really cool. But that's how cool this truck is. It's worthy of wedding status. Okay. But quite honestly, people. This truck is... Uh, where's this? Where is it? the friggin those were the uh what is it this one ah there we go so as oops, as shown in I have to re put that down a little bit better but this truck has the Copperhead 10 25, 20, sorry, 2850 KV motor. And I love Castle. That's just the way it is. I've run a few of them, the Castle stuff before. I just, I love Castle. It, the truck is great. They're the, the company is awesome. Nothing on Hobby Wing or anything else. But they're just awesome. <laughs> like the power, the adjusting, like with the Castle Link, uh, I can adjust the throttle curve and everything. Just so much, and I know you can do that with other ones. But this system runs so smoothly, and as soon as I slam on that throttle, it goes just so well. Um, still bedtime. So that right there, huge bonus for this truck. Uh, so anyone out there building a Phoenix and they're like, whoa, what motors are going to hit? You can get the Mamba, you can do get the Axe, get anything you want. But the Copperhead 10 2850, it's a great setup for this truck. Um, it just, it works great. The slate motors are just awesome. So, just, just awesome. And then up front, obviously, we have the, uh, got the muscle winch. As you saw on the run video I did, um, got some dings up there already. Hey. 
Uh, but when you saw the video, assuming you all did, uh, if you haven't, uh, go check it out. Go to the uploads. It's sitting there. I'll try and put it up there somewhere. Um, the winch works great. I did a little winch scene at the end. I didn't have a, a post or anything to wrap around. I just used my finger and just held my hand there and the truck came up. No problem. The winch. You want a good servo winch? Boom Racing Muscle Winch. They have a new one that came out which is a direct power which has more power to it. Or ounces of torque. I don't know but this basically works out to I think it's like 30, I think this can do like 30 pounds or something like that. I can't fully remember if I worked it out, but it, it can, it, it will haul a heavy truck, no problem. Um, so yeah, it's a great, it's just a great winch. Uh, obviously the, the truck has its own fair lead slot there, so it comes out, a little hook dangle in there. Um, eventually I will probably end up getting possibly a hook that'll come up and around and winch hook on back here, but all I have to do is just suck it up a little bit and it's just fine. But I don't mind a dangling winch there, it's fine. Um, and the, uh, the servo, just a JX45 servo. Jake's. 30 kg jack servo and I could definitely go higher than that but 30 kg servo seems to work just fine it's 50 bucks 45 I think so just not a problem with that I just want it to work that's all I care about I'm not trying to move rocks when I turn uh, I just want the truck to turn where I want it to and it on every truck this truck the 10-3 the origin they all have the same which I think the 10.3 is a 35, but regardless. Um, I think it's one of the Amazon ones. But uh, 30 kg works just fine. Um, this truck, wanting to be a Toyota, but it's not a licensed Toyota. So it's a Toyota. Toyota. Yeah. Um, joke there. The shocks don't seem to have any problems with them. Uh, these ones do have the metal collars, so a little better. Not, to, not running into those problems that everyone else is running into. Uh, as far as I know, they haven't leaked, but is the way it is. I do have slightly bigger C clips in here because I was having a hard time putting the other ones on with the old uh, peepers here, but they don't fall off, so seems to be holding up fine. Uh, and I used a lot of the Boom Racing shock slime. I believe it's Boom Racing. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, no problems there. The VFD twin is locked out. So I don't have the, the dig set up. I don't have the overdrive set up. Even though it is stock. has It's locked out. But it has already 6% overdrive. I could do 6 or 30 or whatever it was. So it does have some overdrive up in the front. Um, trying to think else here. The body is actually not as heavy as you'd imagine. It's not nearly as like top heavy as a lot of people would have thought. Driving a big, uh, I have um, Raphael up there doing the driving, but. Uh, not really a problem there and these will be properly mounted still waiting on those things I have some other stuff that I'm doing with them but uh, radioactive RC makes some really cool stuff as you've seen with the other uh, the origin and all the cool stuff that's on that one uh, so yeah so that's so far all that I'm trying to think what else uh, there is a waterproof receiver box in here that I've mounted up, so keep everything as waterproof as I can. 
the rims, the Boom Racing Pro builds, and then I have the uh, I bought the bigger hubs to fit the bigger wheel hex because these have a bigger shaft. So, yeah. Uh, so that was a little extra money, but it's got uh, bigger or the proper aluminum hex to fit into the aluminum hubs that are slightly bigger than what you'd have on anything else because they won't fit. Um, and then all the scale hardware. So, you guys need some rims. Pro belts. Good rims. Foams. Two stage boom racing foams. I've got soft hard, so soft outer, hard inner in the front. I've got medium outer, hard inner in the rear. And that seems to work really well for me. The front end just grabs a little better. I have that in, I guess, the Origin now. It used to be in the Jeep, but I switched the tires around, so they're in the Origin. It just works much better. Um, just having that softer front end and the rear end carries itself. So works good, again, boom racing. Um, So the link to Boom Racing is in the description, so just head to the website and start having fun. Um, Pitbull tires, so these are the XL Rock Beasts. These are great tires. Uh, so I had the smaller ones before I sold those Pro Builds and the tires off that used to be on the Origin. Uh, sold those and uh, those basically paid for the, uh, the $200 element there. But I had the smaller versions on the Origin, and uh, can't remember if I did it. I think there's a video on it, but I ran them in the snow, and they chewed through the snow no problem. So those were the smaller versions. I cannot wait for the snow to come, and I just plow through snow with these. Uh, that'll be a fun video to shoot. Um... But yeah, great tires. So there's lots of tire choices. Like I have the mud trains uh, that were on the, the Jeep, now they're on the Origin. Uh, those are great tires. I'll have middle stock axial middle trail crackers. They're a great tire too, they'll be on the Element. But uh, for this truck, I wanted something aggressive, and the Rock Beasts are an aggressive tire. So that's. Uh, I keep it as clean as I can. That's kind of where this truck is at right now. It's um, it's just it's an all-around super great truck. Really happy that I got it. Of course, I know there's the uh, the straight axle version now, and yeah, I want it, but I want something else even more. So. Probably not getting the straight axle for a while. But there's that. But I really, really, and will have, want, really want, will have, the um, Boom Racing just dropped it. I think they're not available until next year, but the BXRO2 Series 3 Land Rover, and it's the two door. Two door cab pickup truck. Uh, I am in love with that. I love it. I don't have a very scaled out truck, uh, as in, like, not set up for performance like everything else I have. So that's going to be the first super scale, probably class one build that I will have. Assuming that can be class one. We'll go from there. But, um, yeah, so. No Phoenix straight axle for a while. But, to be honest, I'm in love with these portals. Uh, there's just. The low end on this truck is so cool. Like, I'm, I'm so used to straight axles and just. It's what it is, but this has so much low 
low end control. Plus with that motor and ESC, this thing just, it creeps along, no problem. And I just, I am in love with this truck. This is my favorite truck. I'm so happy about it. Um, like I said, it will be at my wedding, bringing in the rings. But, uh, yeah. So this is just a quick, uh, it's not a long video, but this is just a quick, like, here's the truck, you know, here's my thoughts on it so far, and everything, as you'd imagine, is great. Um, like, there's, there's honestly nothing to really go over. It's just that, it's that good. I don't have any... Squabbles, squabbles, squabbles. With anything I chose, I'm happy with everything about this truck. I don't even need to put anything more on it. Like, eventually, yeah, I will get the hardened gear set and some of that stuff just to make it stronger for the transmission. But I'm not worried about getting the metal axles. I'm not worried about any of that. These have the brass uh, inserts in the axles strengths them up and the plastic moves over the rocks quite a lot nicer anyway so why would I you know risk why would I go and replace something that just doesn't need to be a place right now for the sake of having it kind of thing um, I know we all do that on certain builds but I just I don't see the point in doing that with this this truck is just perfect and it is my show truck uh, I'll have lots more run videos on it but I would like to keep this truck as nice as I can you know this is not gonna be my tough truck truck that's to be honest that's the origin that thing just does whatever I want it to and it's tough uh, the 10 3 will be something kind of different but um, this is the this is the face of blind glare see okay um, kudos to Josh and everyone at Vanquish for designing a, I should say Vanquish and Josh, whatever, uh, Harley Designs, check them out, for designing such a cool, um, truck, like, even back to the Origin, they've all been great, I haven't, I've only owned this and an Origin, which I have still, but I have never owned the Pro or the Ultra or any of those ones. Um, like my origin's a origin black with the SUV, but I didn't want the SUV body anymore on there, which I still have. Um, I wanted to have the truck body. So, there's that. But, greatest truck ever. No word of a lie, people. Greatest truck ever made. Right there. No offense to the Boom Racing one. And I bet you that's just as great. This is great. Er. Just is. Um, just is. Uh, but yeah. So. I don't really know what else to say about the truck other than it's great and go buy one. It's, it's really all I gotta say. I'm in love with it. Um. Hope everyone out there likes what I did. Hope everyone likes their own Vanquish if they have one. And uh, I'm happy with my paint job. I feel I did pretty good. Um, you know, I probably could have done a different, I tend to sand the bodies. I don't wash it, I sand it. I probably could have not done that, but uh, I could have just washed it. But yeah. It is what it is. Eventually there will be other scratches on it and it'll just it'll just show. So whatever. But I'm super happy. Even the little green, if you look in the interior, there's green. The cushions of the seat, upper and lower cushions are green to match. My green rims. Fiance pink does. Pretty sure why. And I even put a silver dash in it just to give it a slightly different tone to it and the stickers were better 
because that came out of a truck I didn't build. So, yeah. Um, I could keep rambling on about this thing, but I love it. This is the greatest truck ever made. And hope everyone's enjoying it. And this is a helpful tip from, I'm sure more people do it, but uh, Matt from Scale Builders Guild and Josh from Harley Designs, I don't know what one did it first, but they use a big old paintbrush, soft paintbrush, to wipe all the dust and dirt off their trucks. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then I did it and I was like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it's soft, so you just like, um, so yeah. So, greatest truck ever. Go buy one. And, uh, yeah. Hope everyone's having a great week. And, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that little bell down below. Let you know whenever I've done a new video. And,. Go check out BC Hobbies. Link is in the description. And if you're not local, link. If you are local, go to link too. Or just head over to Hillside Mall. Go through the food court straight down. You'll see Walmart. Before you enter Walmart, right there, there's BC Hobbies. To your left. Uh, great store. They got everything you need. Just, just everything. Everything. It's um, where these tires came from where the system came from and that might actually be it with this truck because the boom racing winch the servo the rims and the uh foams next one 88 rc 88 rc hobbies hey maiden over at 88 <laughs> um I don't get tired. Uh, he's my boom racing guy, amongst other things. But he uh, he knows his boom racing stuff. So, amongst other things, of course. But if you have anything, any questions about boom racing gear? Hit the dis go to the description down below. Send him a message on Facebook over at eighty eight or comment on the thing. He'll get back to you. He knows his stuff, um, and not that. BC Hobbies doesn't, they do too, but you want boom racing, just just go see Aiden. You want other stuff, just, just go to BC Hobbies. Or go to your, just go to your local hobby shop too. Um, I can't stress that enough. Support your local hobby shops. BC Hobbies is my local hobby shop, and even though it's a ferry away, which isn't too bad, Aiden's also pretty well local and uh, helps me out a lot so give them a look at too just right there West Coast Scale Trail they got a TikTok they got a YouTube everything super cool place run by super cool people so I like supporting good people because they help me create great things like this and like everything else I have so that's that. I'm just gonna call her a done video, and uh, I think we'll see you in the next one. Well, I know we will. Just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Hope everyone has a good week. See you in the next video. Peace out. Crazy trucker.